News. I'm Hannah Rogers. And I'm Jacob Blair. Blair. You know, Hannah, we've got a great story on the Robotics uh, Club today. And I just can't wait. More on that later. But first, the spring play, The Games of Foot, or Homes for the Holidays, by Ken Ludwig, debuts tonight and continues through Saturday with the Red Cast. The White Cast will perform March 5th through the 7th. Both, pro both productions start at 7.30 p.m. Purchase tickets at lunch in advance for $6 or $7 at the door. Tickets to see both casts will be $10. Tickets can be purchased online at parkhillhs.seatyourself.biz, but the combo tickets for both casts cannot be purchased. Tickets can also be purchased at lunch the week of the show or can be set aside at will call by emailing Jermaine Sandow at parkhill.k12.mo.us. Seniors, Justin's will be back next Monday during lunch periods to deliver graduation announcements. If you have a remaining balance, please pay with cash or money order only. Please no checks. Although it is still freezing outside, spring and summer are just around the corner. If you want to keep learning while having fun this summer, the counseling office maintains a list and files of opportunities from camps to study abroad to work prospects. Stop by the counseling office and take a look. Good luck to our dance team as they head to state in St. Louis tomorrow. Competing are Christina Brown, Haley Brown, Kendall Caldwell, Marlo Craighead, Olivia Daly, Jordan Elder, Tara Forte Garcia, Ashley Geddens, Mallory Jensener, Colleen Joyce, Allison Meyer, Aaron Moore, Victoria Newlove, Raven Reed, Kara Strickland, Esley Valreal, and Olivia Woods. Best of luck to you girls. Students who would like additional ACT preparation should consider the ZAPS workshop at Park Hill High School on Tuesday, March 31st from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. The workshop registration fee is $79.99. Sign up online at register.doorwaytocollege.com or call 1-877-927-8378, which is a toll-free number for more information. Hey, party goers, if you're looking for something fun to do this weekend, after prom dinner and auction will be on Saturday, March 7th at 6 p.m. This event will take place at Park Hill South this year. Ca dress casually, please. The proceeds finance both our prom and our, uh, our after prom and Park Hill South's after prom. The cost of the dinner and auction is $10 per person and $15 at the door. Park Hill's very own robotics team is hard at work preparing for their upcoming season. TJ Barker has more. Imagine a sport where there are no wind sprints, no traumatic brain injuries, and everyone goes pro. No, I am not a utopian socialist, and the sport might be a little bit different than you think. The first robotics competition is a uh, sports group. Um, Dean came and their founder looked at all of society and saw that people were idolizing their sports heroes and their movie stars. Well, why not make sports stars out of scientists and technicians, engineers? So we, so we designed a sport based around robotics. It's not just like a sport. What we're learning has uh, applicability beyond what we're doing. I mean, we're learning larger sets of skills. Robotics is the newest sport at Park Hill and possibly the most successful, coming back for their second year after a great competition run last season. Last year, uh, first competition we went to, we ended up going, making 15th place out of something like 50, 50 other teams, and that was pretty cool. While most of the meetings are laid back, the beginning of the year centers around the first robotics competition. Organization that gets together um, teams from countries all over the schools all over the country um, to compete in this uh, game that changes every year. And the idea is to build a robot um, to compete in this activity to uh, perform some objective. The build season is the most grueling part of robotics. During the build season, robotics takes up more time than football or wrestling. When we get into our build season, it's a lot of work and a lot of long days, but it does pay off. During our build season, we are here at the school upwards of 13 hours a day. We meet directly after school and often don't leave until 9.30. We meet on every weekend and we build this robot. During our six-week season, we live and breathe robotics. After being a heartbreaking one team away from the finals last time, this year, the Trobots would practically give their left lug nut to go to nationals. I'm TJ Barker, reporting for Trojan TV News with Jacob Blair. Thank you, TJ, for that story. Today's Black History Month fact of the day is Forgotten Women of Black History Month. Alberta Williams King, 
Dr. King's mother, was gunned down while she played the organ for the Lord's Prayer at Ebenezer Baptist Church. Septa Ponenezer Clark was known as Queen Mother, or Grandmother of the American Civil Rights Movement. Diane Nash was first encountering the Jim Crow South desegregation lunch counters and the courageous leadership of her people. Jo Ann Robinson, an instrumentalist figure in initiating and sustaining the Montgomery bus boycott. Uh, Lou Hammer was a civil rights activist. She helped organize the 1946 Freedom Summer African American Voter Registration Drive in Mississippi. The student of the day is Avanti Stewart, nominated by Mr. Shore. Today's birthdays are Guillermo Chinchilla Alfonso, Darian Davis, Dawson Heckelbeck, Christopher Spivey, Sabian Steele, and Samantha Stewart. That's all we have for you today. I'm Jacob Blair. And I'm Hannah Rogers. Thank you for watching Trojan TV News.